What's up guys, Sean the Bro here, and today we're gonna be going over debugging. So debugging is pretty much your most important tool as a programmer. Other than being able to use your brain and actually think of solutions, you need to be able to fix what your brain screwed up. And we're gonna be going over just that today. So this episode specifically is gonna be going over logging and concepts. Now, in the, the specifics we're talking about, like the logging, is going to be C++ and Unreal specific. However, you can use the concepts in pretty much every single programming application. And I'm gonna teach kind of what I learned throughout the years of debugging. There's also something you can do called breakpoints, which is very, very helpful for code. And you can actually use them in blueprints. But we're not gonna be going over it today because there's quite a few debugging techniques and plenty more concepts that I'm gonna that I'm not gonna get into today. So we can always do another one of these videos if you guys enjoy it. But I've had a few people ask me, you know, what, are you gonna have a video on debugging or a good way that you can, you tell us how you came to the issue. So I don't have a specific bug here today that I wanna go over, but I wanna show you kind of how to log, which if you've been watching the fighting game tutorial or, or most of the series that I've been doing, you'll see me put logs and stuff, but I'll kind of show you why I do that and, and uh, when I think it's necessary, things like that. Let's just get into it today. This will be a bit of a more free form episode. But okay, so I have my header file. Again, this is my this is actually in my fighting project. I'm not going to be changing any code or adding any code to the fighting project, the fighting game template. And I'm also not going to be, this isn't going to be part of the fighter template tutorial series. This is going to be its own episode. But I'm just using that one because it's got a lot of code and I already have some some logs and stuff in here to show you what I was thinking. So if I scroll down, I, I have tons tons of code in here. But let's go to where we have a log that's not commented out. I believe I have one in take damage. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. Don't worry about the code, for real. Don't worry about all the code. Worry about just the log for now. This is my take damage function. So when an enemy, or when myself, takes damage, when we get hit by a punch or some sort of object, we then lose health, right? So I have a, a statement here, a line of code here called UE log, Unreal Engine log, log temp, which you can read this, but basically it just means we're not going to be going over, you know, storing this log and using it for other things. Warning, which is the severity of the log. It determines the color that's going to show up. If this was error, it would be red in the output log. And sometimes uh, you can actually cause builds to fail depending on how you set it up using these logs. And then this text macro, which allows us to print text out to this log. And I'm saying we are taking damage for percent %f, which is a float points. This comma and damage amount afterward is what's going to replace the variables that I put in here. And you can put several. So if I did percent %f, percent %f, it's going to expect another float. Oops. If I could spell, it would expect another float. There we go. This is how you can write an Unreal log. It's pretty simple. You can pretty much always keep it log temp and warning when you're learning. You'll find more uses for the others, but I don't honestly use the others almost ever, to be quite frank. They do have their uses. They're very important depending on your project. I just, I don't use them very much. And then again, your percent %f, uh, anytime you see a percent sign in quotes like this, it's saying print out this variable, the result I get from this. You can do things even like put a function call in here that will return the value you want. Um, you can do percent %i or percent %d for integer or decimal is what the percent %d is, but it will work for an integer. I believe percent %string is percent %s, but you can do it for, for lots of different things. So maybe look up whatever you need for your, your variable to print out here, but one way you can do it to see an actual amount so this if this log is firing then i know several things so my placement of this log is very useful here i placed this log saying we are taking damage in here because this means the player is taking full damage so if the character state is not equal to blocking then we want to print this log if we don't ever see this log being printed, and I'll show you where it's printed again in just a minute, but I just this is important. If we don't ever see this log being printed, the take damage function is not being called, or it's being called, but it's not going into this if statement. It's going into this else statement. 
So what I like to do is if I can't figure out exactly where my code is at, or, or, or where my issue is at, then what I'll actually do is put a log in each spot. So knowing that I was potentially going to have issues with the take damage function as well as some blocking mechanics and taking reduced damage, I went ahead and added a log to each of these. So in my else, if the player is not blocking else, which means they are blocking, then we're taking a reduced damage amount. So I have another log here saying we are taking reduced damage along with the reduced damage. This isn't honestly that that necessary most of the time. Most of the time you kind of use logs to see if they're firing and to see what the values are of things. Uh, you don't always have to have to have a value here. You can just say we're taking reduced damage and be good. I was just being a little bit specific there. But so now if my health isn't going down and neither of these logs are being called, well then I know take damage isn't firing at all. It's not being called at all. And there we know our issue is wherever we're calling take damage isn't working. We're either calling it in a special branch and that branch isn't getting hit or something's going wrong before that. So let's go into Unreal and see what these code logs look like. So if I play my game, you know, I'll play this level. Okay, now look at the output log. You just hit output log right here. Now this should be up by default. If for whatever reason it's not, go to window, uh, developer tools, and then output log. And that will bring up your output log. Okay. Now, take damage. Remember, this will work for either player. So as long as I hit player one, or excuse me, hit player two, there we go. I get my log temp warning. We are taking damage for 0.1 points. And remember, in this game, that's essentially 10%. So there you go. We're taking damage for 10 points. Okay, cool. Great. Now, if I was blocking and the enemy were to hit me, we are taking reduced damage for 0.05 points. So you can see that my values are working as intended. My take damage function is being called as intended. That's great news. If I didn't, now, if I didn't see these logs printing, or if I saw them printing something that I didn't want, I would go into the code and look for everywhere that I called take damage. Now, technically, we're, we're calling take damage in our blueprint, so. I would look in the code first. If the code doesn't come up with anything or the code looks okay, then I go to Blueprint next. So for Blueprint, uh, I go to my hitbox BP right here. And here are the two places I'm calling take damage. So if my take damage function isn't getting called, and these are the only two places I'm calling it, then I know it's never taking the strike hitbox and that's of a minimum. It might not be getting to this branch. It might not be getting past this valid or this valid or, well, this branch either way brings you to, to, to a take damage, but you get what I'm saying. Any one of these things could be wrong leading up to it. Oh, check collision is where this is at? Well, if nothing in here seems wrong, I should go to check collision and see if this is occurring the way I want. Now that can be a lot, right? Just for the same reason where we have logs in code though, we have logs in Blueprint. So you can see um, here I had take damage. So if we know take damage isn't being called in code, you can go ahead and put a print string. Print string, this is your a good friend um, in Unreal in Blueprints. Print string is great. First of all, the in string, so it normally looks like this. You can hit the little arrow to extend it if you want. Most of the time I don't, but feel free to. The in string is your text. So you put whatever you want to pop up on the screen. So taking damage. Now, uh, print a screen. Again, it means it will print up in the top left of your screen. Print a log will go in your output log, the text color that prints on the screen, and the duration is how long it stays on the screen. So two seconds isn't a ton of time. I usually put 20 or so if I'm having a particularly difficult issue and I can't see it popping up or I don't know exactly when it'll pop up. That way I have some time to to check it. So take taking damage is my string. Now, if this wasn't being called though, this is never gonna fire. So you might not wanna put this here. So what I usually do is find a good spot where I feel confident saying, okay, I think the rest of this is happening. Let's check here. So for example, hurt box, if it's overlapping, overlapping the hit box, which is what this function is checking. And if you're familiar with the fighting game tutorial, you'll, you'll see this, but um, Again, don't worry about the nodes in here. I'm not changing anything in here. But this is in my hitbox actor. 
I'm saying, okay, this hitbox collides with a hurt box of the player, then we want to deal damage, right? So I think, hmm, maybe the hitbox is not overlapping with the hurt box. Because if this is false, I don't do anything, which means the player would never take damage. So maybe I want to add a print string here off this false node. Anywhere where code ceases to continue is a good place to add a print string. Um, you might want to disable them so they don't clog your log and all that, but it's always good to have them, honestly. Okay, so now I have it on this false, and you can see uh, if I'm not hitting my, my enemy, then you can see the log blueprint user messages, hitbox actor, class zero, class one, because of the proximity and the strike hitbox called taking damage. Okay, so there you go. You have your taking damage log printing. It's in the top left of your screen and it'll be for 20 seconds because that's the duration I put and it's in the, the output log forever until you clear it. Great, so it's, it's popping up, why? Because our hitbox is not overlapping with our hurt box. Well, that's great, but we kind of already knew, knew that it's not. Now, the issue would be if our hitbox is not overlapping with our hurt box here, when they clearly are, right? And you see it did not pop up there. The log did not pop up on the screen or in the output log because it did hit the player, okay? But if we were getting if we were getting that log while we were right next to our enemy, well then we have an issue. Why is that? You know why would that not be working? And I mean one thing you could do and one thing we could do real, for real is if I go into my hitbox display and I go into my collision set, uh, settings and hit no collision. Now watch this. So say maybe my issue is I can't get my my hitbox to to damage the enemy player because that's a common bug because the hitboxes are quite complicated. Hmm. I'm hitting my player. I see it hitting the player, but the log is printing saying I am not overlapping the actor. So that's weird. Um, in which case, we know this is the bug. If this is what was happening to you, you see your logs printing even though you are overlapping the actor. You can see your hitbox spawning, but it is not working. Then most likely your issue is something with your collision presets. Because we're getting to this point in code, we've come this far, we've spawned our hitbox, we spawned it in the right spot, we determined the player that we were, so player one or player two, and we've said, okay, our hitbox is not overlapping with the enemy's hurt box. That's why we're printing here. All right? So, you know, you can go to your hitbox display, look at your collision presets, and maybe it's wrong. Maybe it isn't, but, that's a pretty good way to tell and, and check, like, okay, this might be wrong. So if that's not working, then you look elsewhere and you can continue down the, the chain. Make sure that it actually thinks that your enemy is player two and not player one. Because for whatever reason, it might think that you are your enemy, depending on the way you set up code. For example, I have this function determine player, which basically checks if we're player one or player two. And then if we're player one, it's going to only do damage when we collide with player two. Maybe this isn't firing because it thinks you're it thinks you're the other player and it's trying to have a collision with your character and not the enemy's character. Now, I'm not talking about any specific examples here. Now, I have seen that happen in the <laughs> from people in the tutorial or watching the tutorial series. They've actually had very similar issues, if not that exact same issue. But my my point is here. If we saw take damage was not being called in code, then we know it wasn't being called in blueprint. So we need to go to nodes that are going to lead us to where we want to go and see where things are going wrong. Anytime you have an empty node where there's no code flow afterward is a good place to check. It's also good to check on any branching or looping logic because that's where most of your issues will probably come in. All right. So that's two good methods of debugging. It's logging in code and logging in blueprint. Now, another issue. Um, sometimes you have to close the editor. And this actually happens with Visual Studio as well. This is a code thing in general, not just an Unreal thing. Sometimes your computer, whatever memory it's hanging on to, gets into a snag. It says, okay, I'm, I'm trying to hold this reference and, or, you know, I'm trying to hold this reference and the variable is being accessed or the file was deleted or something like that. And now I can't, I basically can't continue until this issue gets solved. 
sometimes the best thing to do is just hit the good old X button and get that garbage out of here because and then reopen of course and then make sure you build and compile like usual but sometimes that is the issue I mean I had it I was doing my first person shooter tutorial and uh, I, I had a bug where the bullet just stopped coming out of the gun I like I didn't change anything I, I had a working build I added a variable to the players or, or I added more components regarding the player's health and the bullet stopped coming out of the player's gun and I was like what the heck and I couldn't figure it out I closed the editor I reopened it and it was fine so the bullet just stopped working entirely I couldn't get the shoot out of the gun something in Unreal just got messed up and it couldn't do what it needed to do to play the game properly and sometimes that's going to happen so if you have anything that you're really you're pretty sure you're like I don't think I changed anything with this but you see something drastic change like either something doesn't spawn correctly or it doesn't pick up on your controller anymore or sometimes just try closing the editor reopen build and compile if you need to and it's you should be back to go if that was the, the genuine issue that unreal just had a hiccup but so there's a lot of different things we can do and basically debugging is never over there you're gonna always have different issues that you have to approach differently but it's more about the mindset that it is the execution of course the execution is important because you need to know where you, you're doing your logs and stuff but what's actually more important to me is the fact that you have the ability to know where you have to look it's okay if you have bugs as long as you know how to solve them essentially well I'll keep this video on the shorter size since it's just like a freeform video and I was just going over some issues with the uh, with debugging and, and kind of how to do it, where to do it, things like that. This will probably be it for episode one. If you guys are interested, and it seems like you are, I will do a breakpoints episode specifically with stepping through code and all that. I would do it here for a lot of people it's not necessarily the way you want to start out. If, if you're starting with Unreal as your first project use logs first i think in my opinion that's what i would do if you're if you're more familiar with code you probably know about breakpoints already but i'll be happy to go over them regardless they're going to take a little bit more work to explain and, and get into but you can do a lot of cool stuff with them all right guys so i'm sean the bro thank you so much for watching this episode i really hope that i helped teach you about debugging a bit and that you learned a little bit from it if you did please subscribe it does more for the channel and for me than anything else you can do. It just lets me know that I'm doing a good job, and I would just really appreciate it. If you did have any issues with this video or any concerns or ideas that you had about debugging that you'd like to share, feel free to join the Discord community. I can't put it in iCard because YouTube doesn't like that, but it's in the description right next to Discord. Uh, if you join it, we'll be happy to help you with any of the issues you had, or you can just join a cool community and hang out with us. Lastly, if you want to come support me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash seanthebro27, I play Dark Souls games and torture myself because it's my first playthrough, and Resident Evil games, which are just fun because who doesn't like good old Resident Evil? So, yeah, that's it, guys. I don't ha really have anything else, so thank you so much for watching. I'm showing the bro, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.